What is the best time to take cayenne pepper? Cayenne pepper gives the body a boost that will leave you feeling energized as a cup of coffee, minus the afternoon post-coffee crash. So the best time to consume is in the morning. Did you know some pain relief creams found at your local pharmacy is made with cayenne pepper? In today's video, we are going over the health benefits of cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is a popular spice derived from red chili peppers. It contains an active compound called capsaicin, which is responsible for its heat. Its first benefit is digestive health. Cayenne pepper can stimulate the production of saliva and stomach secretions, aiding digestion. It may also help prevent and relieve symptoms of indigestion. Mixing 1 8 teaspoon of cayenne pepper into one cup of warm water with the juice of half a lemon in the morning can serve as a digestive tonic and may help kickstart your metabolism. Next benefit is providing pain relief for migraines. Some individuals find relief from migraines by consuming cayenne pepper. It is believed that the compound capsaicin helps inhibit a neuropeptide associated with migraines. Making a soothing cayenne pepper headache tea can certainly help. Using one cup hot water, one chamomile tea bag, half teaspoon ground ginger, and one fourth teaspoon cayenne pepper, adding one to two teaspoons of honey, which is optional for sweetness. Next benefit is helping with weight management. Some studies suggest that cayenne pepper may help with weight loss by increasing metabolism and reducing appetite. Capsaicin is known to cause a temporary increase in body temperature, a process called thermogenesis. This rise in temperature is attributed to the activation of brown adipose tissue, BAT, which plays a role in burning calories to generate heat. The activation of BAT is associated with an increase in metabolic rate. A higher metabolic rate means that the body is burning more calories at rest, contributing to energy expenditure. The sensation of heat and spiciness caused by capsaicin triggers the release of certain hormones, including adrenaline. Adrenaline has been associated with appetite suppression. Additionally, capsaicin may affect ghrelin, a hormone that stimulates appetite. How's that for a spicy herb found at your local grocery store? Next benefit is pain relief. Capsaicin in cayenne pepper has been shown to have pain relieving properties. It is often used topically in creams and ointments for conditions like arthritis and muscle pain. The compound works by reducing substance P, a neurotransmitter that plays a role in the perception of pain. Consider wearing disposable gloves or using an applicator to apply the cream. This is particularly important if you are dealing with a potent capsation product to avoid inadvertently transferring it to sensitive areas like the eyes. Use a small amount of capsaicin cream and apply a thin layer to the affected area three to four times daily. Next benefit is improving heart health. Cayenne pepper may help improve cardiovascular health. It can lower blood pressure by promoting vasodilation, which widens blood vessels. This process is beneficial for cardiovascular health because it reduces resistance to blood flow, subsequently lowering blood pressure. It also triggers the release of nitric oxide, a compound that relaxes and widens blood vessels. This relaxation allows blood to flow more easily, resulting in improved circulation. Additionally, it may help reduce levels of LDL, bad, cholesterol. It is believed that capsaicin may enhance the breakdown of LDL cholesterol and promote its excretion from the body. If you're finding this information helpful so far, make sure to subscribe. Next benefit is boosting immunity. The high vitamin C content in cayenne pepper can contribute to a healthy immune system. One of the key roles of vitamin C in immune function is its antioxidant properties. Antioxidants help protect cells from damage caused by free radicals, which are unstable molecules produced during normal cellular processes and in response to environmental factors such as pollution and radiation. Vitamin C is also involved in the production and function of white blood cells, which are critical components of the immune system. White blood cells, such as lymphocytes and phagocytes, play key roles in identifying and eliminating pathogens, including bacteria and viruses. Additionally, vitamin C is crucial for the synthesis of collagen, a structural protein that is essential for maintaining the integrity of skin, blood vessels, and other tissues. Intact and healthy tissues are vital for effective immune responses. So who should not take cayenne pepper? While cayenne pepper is generally considered safe for most people when used in moderation as a culinary spice, there are certain individuals who should exercise caution or avoid it altogether. Here are some groups of people who may need to be careful with or avoid cayenne pepper. Individuals with gastrointestinal conditions. Cayenne pepper is known to be a gastrointestinal irritant and can cause or exacerbate issues such as heartburn, acid reflux, and stomach ulcers. Individuals with pre-existing gastrointestinal conditions, such as gastritis or inflammatory bowel disease, may experience discomfort or worsen symptoms. People with irritable bowel syndrome, 
IBS. Some individuals with IBS may be sensitive to spicy foods like cayenne pepper, and its consumption may trigger or worsen symptoms such as abdominal pain and discomfort. Those with allergies or sensitivities, individuals who are allergic to plants in the Solanaceae family, which includes chili peppers, tomatoes, and potatoes, may experience allergic reactions to cayenne pepper. Symptoms may include itching, swelling, and difficulty breathing. Pregnant women. Pregnant women are generally advised to moderate their consumption of spicy foods, including cayenne pepper. Excessive consumption may lead to digestive discomfort, heartburn, or irritation, which can be particularly uncomfortable during pregnancy. Breastfeeding women. While small amounts of cayenne pepper in the diet are generally considered safe during breastfeeding, excessive consumption may affect the flavor of breast milk. Some infants may be sensitive to changes in taste and may react negatively. Individuals on blood thinning medications. Cayenne pepper has mild blood thinning properties and individuals taking anticoagulant medications, blood thinners, should exercise caution. Excessive consumption may increase the risk of bleeding. Individuals with capsaicin sensitivity. Some people are more sensitive to capsaicin, the active compound in cayenne pepper, and may experience adverse reactions such as skin irritation or allergic responses. It's advisable to perform a patch test before using capsaicin-containing products topically. Children, cayenne pepper can be too spicy for young children, and their developing taste buds may find it unpleasant. Additionally, it can be a choking hazard if not used in age-appropriate forms. Individuals with kidney issues. Excessive consumption of cayenne pepper may potentially worsen kidney problems in some individuals. People with kidney issues should consult with their healthcare provider regarding the inclusion of cayenne pepper in their diet. People on medications. Individuals taking medications for hypertension, heart conditions, or gastrointestinal issues should consult with their healthcare provider before incorporating cayenne pepper into their diet as it may interact with certain medications. To source the best cayenne pepper, consider the following tips to ensure quality, freshness, and flavor. Look for cayenne pepper powder with a vibrant, bright red color. Avoid products that appear dull or have faded hues as this may indicate age or poor quality. If possible, choose organic cayenne pepper powder. Organic products are often grown without synthetic pesticides or fertilizers, and they may have a more robust flavor. Check the ingredient list on the packaging. Ideally, the product should contain only cayenne peppers without additives or preservatives. It's important to note that individual tolerance to cayenne pepper can vary, and what may be well tolerated by one person may cause discomfort in another. If you have specific health concerns or conditions, it's advisable to consult with the healthcare professional before making significant changes to your diet or using cayenne pepper for therapeutic purposes. If you learned something new, make sure to subscribe.